All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 2 Vegas series, where we are playing as Jenny, the Doctor's daughter. And you, uh, you may notice we're back on Telos today. Yes, it would appear that I missed something, and uh, that something would appear to be over in that direction, that little triangle there. Yeah, I did, I did not notice that on my compass in the previous episode, but. A couple of you wonderful viewers did point it out to me in the comments, as well as a few messages that were sent to me saying that, oh my god, go back to Telos, you missed something really, really important. Which only one person told me what that was, apparently a hypercube, which is important, yes. Because apparently, well actually I'm not 100% sure on this, correct me if I'm wrong folks, oh thank god the storm subsided. But yes, apparently if you collect all the hypercubes, that's how you unlock the Chronodyne Generator schematic? Maybe? I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what a few people have told me. So, I want that schematic because I hate Weeping Angels and I currently only have three Chronodyne Generators left. So, I need to be able to make them. But yes, we need to go and get that hypercube and plus I'm, I'm intrigued just to see what might be over there. We... Went over the whole area, and I thought I had seen everything, but apparently, I missed... Ooh, it's back there. Oh, I missed this. Oh my, hello. Well, it's not exactly the most obvious path in the world in this snowy landscape, but I'm actually kind of surprised I missed it when we were walking back from that place, because I do recall coming up back this direction. I actually may have walked over this, but not realized that I could go over here. Okay. Well, here we go, canine. We found a path. And hopefully we'll find something good with the hypercube. But let's see what's here first. Ooh, I see Cybermen. Oh, God, I see a lot of Cybermen. What the crow? Ooh, hello, Cyberman. Hello, Cyber Worker. Oh. Oh, poor Cyber Workers. Humans that have been partially turned into Cybermen. Just such a horrible, horrible fate. Let's see, okay, I see at least two Cybermen, three Cybermen, four Cybermen, canine. Okay, well I can shoot you, so let's boom, there we go. Ooh, you're probably a Cyberman over in the distance there too. Uh, let's see if I can hit one from afar. Oh my god, I actually got him. <laughs> I only got 13 experience for that, though. What happened to, like, the hundred and something I've been getting previously? All right, well, let's just zap all of these bastards. Hello, 28. Go for the head. Uh, you? Can I? Zero. Damn it. Cyber worker. I'm going to try not to kill these guys if I don't have to, because, I mean, they're, they're victims. Poor victims. Oh, my God. Really? Zero? How is that zero? I got 5% on him, and they're, like, standing next to one another. Oh, so, oh, hi, K9. Well, I can explode that one. Okay, it looks like the Cybermen have to actually be shooting at me. No, no, still zero on you, and you indeed have seen me. Okay, oh god, where's this one? Still zero! Okay, back up, back up, back up. Oh god, ow. K9, get him! Good boy! <laughs> he took one out! Oh, K9, I love you. There we go, critical strike on him. Any more? No, it looks like K9 took care of the others. Good boy, K9. You are the best dog ever. All right, well, only took a minor amount of damage. I believe I see the hypercube there. And yeah, it doesn't look like these cyber workers are attacking me, so hopefully, oh, I wonder if we can find some way to free them. That'd be glorious if we could. I don't know if that's a thing, though. With my luck, probably not. But yeah, thank you guys for telling me about this. I would have been very disappointed in myself if had we continued to miss this. Oh boy, because yeah, I did not notice this marker in the slightest. Which, of course, got me the typical comments of, Oh my god, how can you miss that thing? It's right on your compass. Very easily, my friend. Very easily. <laughs> Um, when you're trying to record and actually make a video, you can quite easily miss things because your uh, focus is split. Ooh, Vastial Cartridges. Yeah, it doesn't look like these guys want me dead. Raw Vastial Heap. Okay, I'll take that. Hi? Hi? 
Talk? What do you need? Oh my god, I can talk to you. See you later. Bye. Can I do something to save you? Hack them. <laughs> do they register as life signs? They do! Ooh, my... S oh, well, first off, let's put this back on lockpick and then go to the medical scanner. Uh, decontamination. They've been cured of all diseases, but apparently that doesn't that doesn't count as a uh, for. So oh my God, I can partially see through them. <laughs> oh, that's creepy as crap. Okay, well, let's loot the Cybermen. Go to more of these piles of Vastial. There we go. I don't know what in the hell that is, but I'll take it. So yeah, I guess I can't help these folks. At least not in any way I currently know how. Alright, well, let's take that and... Ash Pile! There we go. Oh. Well, that's a Cyberman head. Okay. Anything back here? No. Okay, so Hypercube. And... Nonsense. Time for a quick adventure. Then back to sea. Okay, so we got the seventh doctor's uh, outfit there. I briefly forgot what that word was. Oh my god, why have I been doing that so much recently? I also picked up a... Did I pick up a schematic, did it say? Oh, electron charge. No, hold on, hold on. Halford's note. Oh my, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Schematic, the baseball bat of Omega. What? Okay. Well, let's try this on, the Seventh Doctor's outfit. And... Oh, we look dapper. <laughs> Still kind of strange. I'm not a huge fan of it. But... I do enjoy the hat. We'll keep the hat on. How does that look with our brown coat? A little bit off. And, of course, we still have that eye drive in. Oh, God. Seriously, can I do nothing to you guys? <laughs> I would like to save you. Let's do... Resuscitate. Target cannot be resuscitated. Anesthetize? They have been anesthetized. <laughs> Saddle wash. Cleansed of rads. Wow, that made a sound. Yeah, I can't seem to help these folks. Oh, but I can see through them, and that's just creepy. Oh my god, I think it's only the ones that I've... Yeah, it's the only the ones that I've healed, because it, like, changed their, uh... Oh god, I don't even know what it would be. Hmm. But yeah, it's like this guy. I can't see through him, but if I cleanse him of his rads... Then when he phases back... Yep, see, there we go. We can see through him. So obviously I'm doing more harm than good here. <laughs> Did I check this? Yes, it's empty. All right, so I guess that's all we can do here. Let's just leave then. I feel sorry about leaving these folks, but ah, uh, there's there's just there's nothing we can do for them, which kind of sucks. There, I was hoping there might be something that would, would be quite interesting and very Hoovian of us to try and fix them, but apparently not. I also just decided that I want to do something real quick before I leave. I'm going to defabricate them. <laughs> oh god! Okay, nine! No, don't do it! Oh, I forgot that that still counts as me trying to kill people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> K9, <laughs> you are one vicious animal. Okay, well, let's let's go back to the TARDIS now. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that the defabricator gun does still count as shooting someone with the weapon, even though all it does is destroy their armor. Yep, yep, which means K9 decided to kill. Damn it, K9. <laughs> he just, he likes to kill. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, that also worries me, though, about the other hypercubes. I'm curious if I've missed any in the other two locations. I mean, we can go back to them. They are in our navcom, but I think I may do that off camera or go and look up online to see if there is one there. 
But that should be everything that is here. The only thing that people did tell me about was that, so... Hopefully we should be good. So let's head back to the TARDIS. And I have something interesting for us today. We're gonna go back to the Mojave. And there's a tent by the Mojave outpost that worries me. I want to go investigate it because it's of course Whovian related. And well, it's creeping me the crap out. So let's just sort of randomly, where, K9, how'd you get back there? Damn it, K9. <laughs> So let's go randomly. So zigzag plotter. Hell make regulator throttle. We'll go maximum warp. Uh lockdown mechanism. Time rotor handbrake. And then I am going to Oh god, I would if I remembered where it was. I, I, I was going to turn off the autopilot, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember where it is on this console. Uh, dials. Uh, ah, autopilot. Autopilot deactivated. Oh, God. Why did that explode? Okay. <laughs> well, let's. We got that button. I don't like the things are exploding on us. Oh, uh, was it because I didn't get to it soon enough? That may have been why I may have damaged my TARDIS. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, there we go. It gives us something to do while we're flying rather than just standing there talking. And, oh, I'll be damned, it does. Some people had told me that uh, doing the manual flight does get to your get to you to your location more quickly. And, yeah, we are already here. Holy crap, so that's good. Let's get out the... Uh, Recharger rifle. Have I damaged the TARDIS, though? Oh, no, that's power readout. Oh, God. Where's the other dials? Over here. Oh, come on. Come on. Right. Sp Damn it, K9. Stop. <laughs> stop moving me. Okay. There we go. Systems display. We're all good on that, so probably just some shield damage. That'll regenerate. Let's see where we are. And then... Are we? Are we just at a slightly different location in Prim? <laughs> we are. So instead of being over there, we're right here. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's uh, go to our map then, because I'll just fast travel over there. It's a bit easier. Uh, mainly because I don't know if I have a point for the Mojave Outpost to go there with the TARDIS. So... Over here, I saw a tent when I came back this way because I forgot to turn in a quest over here. And I noticed this tent. And when I went to look at the door for said tent, tent flap to the sh chapel of silence. This is the chapel of the silence here. And that is Whovian and worries me. So let's go in and also actually laser screwdriver because we're going to be going up against the silence in here. So, and I do have my eye drive on. Hello? Oh, it's the TARDIS that the silence tried to build. Oh, I see you over there, buddy. Hi, confessional priest. I can't hit you. You're at zero. Yes, it's the TARDIS that the silence tried to build. Oh, God. What are we going to do with this? Hi! Oh, God, I, I forgot that in Vats, I can't target them! <laughs> but I can do the laser screwdriver manually. Okay. Oh, God, which means that uh, K9 can't hit them either. Because he relies entirely off of Vats. Oh, God, ow. Crippled my damn torso. Freaking priests of the silence, man. I hate these guys. Let's just do stim pack there. I've got, oh my god, that uh, that actually got us down way more than I thought it would. Okay, okay. Microfusion breeders. I'll take those. I'm not seeing any other silence priests. Let's check all these. Okay, so there was one in each of these alcoves. Alrighty. Well, that's wonderfully disturbing. So, I heard a thing. 
<laughs> I heard a noise and it worried me. It freaked me out. So yeah, that seems to be all there is to this place. Just some uh, little alcoves for the priests. Can I do something with you? Oh, hello. <gasps> Alpha Mizon Blaster! We lost karma for that because we stole it from the silence. Well, we got a schematic. Can, can I do something with this place? <laughs> I'm not uh, actually seeing anything we can do. Huh. I was hoping maybe we could overload it or something. Ooh, we ramp right up. Excellent. Can we shoot it? Take that, evil silence TARDIS. Okay, well, we got the Alpha Mizon Blaster schematic, so I guess we just leave. Oh, hello, tent flap. Is it going to do something? Oh, no, Canine's stuck. <laughs> He's stuck inside. Uh, oh, no, he made it. He made it out. Okay, well. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't know if there's anything we could do with that. I didn't see anything that we could interact with. We did get the schematic though, so I am pretty happy about that. And I thought that that would take longer. <laughs> uh, I figured, okay, we'll go back and see the thing at Telos, cause you know, I, I really should go back to that. And then I figured, hey, this thing's a silence thing. So, surely it'll take us a little bit. Obviously it didn't though. So uh, yeah, I guess just back to the TARDIS. Huh. And do a few random flights, I guess. See more of the place? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, let's just... <laughs> oh! K-9, why are you going... Seriously, what is that dog doing? What are you up to? <laughs> Alright, well, let's just do a couple of random flights, I guess, for the rest of the episode. Let's... Do that. Do that. Maximum warp. That, that, and oh god, what was the autopilot? That one! So, come on! Where's a thing? It does make life a little bit more entertaining and interesting when we have to do this. Okay, there we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I do like that it does go a little bit more quick. Actually, quite a bit more quickly. When we're doing it manually. That last flight was quite fast comparatively to what we have been doing. So that's quite cool. So we'll continue to do this for future episodes whenever we travel. Get there quicker. And of course, it does build up our piloting experience. And holy crap, we're already there. Yes. <laughs> now to find out where in the world we are. I wish I could scan, etc. when we're out here, but you can only use that in space. And you don't unlock space flight for a while still. Hmm. Well, where are we at? Hopefully somewhere fun. It was not somewhere fun. Oh, hello, Gecko. Oh my god, die. Oh, we lost karma for that. Oh god, yeah, because it wasn't a Hoovian enemy. Holy crap, we leveled up again. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, 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 okay, I guess Canine killed it just as it popped up. Alright, yeah, I forgot that uh, only the Hoovian enemies we can shoot with the laser screwdriver and not get any mal effects from, you know, killing them. <laughs> okay, what do I want to go with? So, can we... Quick draw... Strong back. Oh, I kind of like that. I always enjoy being able to carry more. Comprehension? Meh. No. Retention? No. Hmm. Eh, bloody mess. <laughs> no, no. Let's not go. We have a laser screwdriver. We don't need bloody mess. Okay. Let's go with... Commando. Because when we're not fighting, well, when we're fighting Hoovian enemies, I use the laser screwdriver, and that's basically a one-shot, one-kill. But for Commando, I think... Ah, nah, screw it, I'm going with strong back. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just, he just killed it. K9, good job. So, 
I'm here. <laughs> well, not exactly the most entertaining place in the world, but fair enough. Fair enough. Back in the TARDIS. <laughs> Let's do one more flight before ending the show today. It's kind of fun doing the random flights, plus I do enjoy flying the TARDIS. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot to do the helmet regulator first. Okay. Oh, damn it, K9. Stop pushing me. I really should tell him to, like, sit whenever we're in the TARDIS. All right. Autopilot off. Let's do this. And what's going to light up first? Come on. Oh, over here. Navcom. What next? Oh, oh god, I missed it. It was right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it was. That's what was exploding. So, man, you really got to move quick on this one. We are doing maximum warp, so of course you got to move quickly. I wish I would have realized this when I was leveling up my uh, flying skills originally, because, dear god, it would have gone a lot more quickly. Instead of the hour that it took me to do it, just going slowly, we probably could have been done in like 20 minutes. But no, but no, I was a fool. 60% fuel, that's not bad. I'll refuel off camera. What do we got here? Oh my god, we're in Prim again! What the hell, TARDIS? <laughs> Why do you keep bringing me to Prim? That is now three different locations for Prim. Wow. Wow. Clearly you want me to be here, but I don't know why. I mean, I've already saved this town. I made the robot the sheriff because, well, that seemed very Hoovian of me to do. <laughs> it's like, yeah, screw the humans. Just make it a robot. There we go. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this episode then because I did say we do one more flight and we are at 22 minutes now. So might as well just end it here. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode today. We got two new... Well, no, we got a uh, hypercube. Oh, no, it did actually give us a schematic for that, didn't it? That uh, baseball bat of the Omega, which I'm kind of intrigued to build, purely out of curiosity's sake. And also a schematic for the Alpha Mizon Blaster. And we killed a lot of Priests of the Silence. Yeah, that was the thing. That was a thing. In the next episode, we will actually go do the emergency on Scaro mission. I just kind of wanted to put it off because I, I wanted to see other Hoovian things. And of course, when I saw that tent off camera, I, I just had to go check it out on camera with you guys. So for the next episode, though, we will continue on with the quests and head to Scaro, which apparently is chock full of radiation. So I need to make some... Uh, Right away. And actually, ooh, no, there's something in the lab and the TARDIS that has like a crap load of rad resistance. I'll make some of that. Okay, but that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. <laughs>